Japani wametakiwa kukumbatia mafunzo ya kiufundi ili kuweza kujiajiri na kujitegemea. Wadau wa elimu na waisani huko Mombasa wamekariri kuwa idadi kubwa ya wasichana hujipata katika ndoa za mapema kutokana na kukaa nyumbani wanapokamilisha masomo ya upili. Baadhi ya wale waliofuzi ni katika kozi za mapambo na urembo ambapo kwa sasa wana uwezo wa kujiajiri kutokana na uhaba wa ajira humu nchini. <coughs> Zaidi ya wanawake na wanafunzi moja na ishine tatu mefuzo katika mafunzo ya kiufundi Mombasa Neza ni kajisaidia Sababu kama mama ambao ni mama mchanga na pia mama ambao ni mjane Singeweza kujileta shule Kwa sasa ni mwajiriwa Kwa sinile na training Watu wa training boys wangu wakanipenda wakanichukua kabisa So bado najiendeleza hapo. Hii ni kutokana na mpango unaoendelezwa ili kukabiliana na mimba za mapema pamoja na changamoto zinazowakumba wanawake. Na pia mtoto wa kike akiwa ako kwa shule, hana time ya kurandaranda mtaani na elewa. Na pia akiwa amesoma, amemaliza, huwa anakuwa na uwezo wa kujisaidia na elewa. Anakuwa na uwezo wa kupata pesa kidogo ambao angedanganywa na mwanaume apewe ndio maybe apate mimba out there they are employed in the salons some of them have decided they don't want to be employed and they have already opened their own businesses there are some entrepreneurs in fact one of the girls that you interviewed has already opened her own salon empowers those young ladies those single moms to have a skill that they can go out and take care of their families and provide for and the the, the beauty of this program to me is the fact that each girl can take it as far as she wants. If all she wants to do is work in a shop, she can do that. But if she has aspirations for one, two, three shops, if she takes her time, she could do that as well. Karika mpango huu, wengi wao, wanasema sasa wanalenga kujiajiri ili kujinifaisha katika maisha. Ime tuwezesha kukuja, tumepata skills, tumejifunza mambo mengi ya kutunia mikono yetu, kusuka nyuele, kufanya mambo ya urembo na upambe na tumesaidika so yeah, at least tunaweza tukajisaidia wengine tulikuwa tume lose hope sababu being a young widow sikukuwa na kazi sikujua nitalea watoto ama nitajipeleka shule na wale wenye wamepata mimba pia tunawaambia sio mwisho wa dunia unakuja na mimba yako na ile ukisoma unaenda training kitambo zae huwa unaweza kuwa na uwezo wa kujisaidia na same body body. It will minimize because once these girls they come here at 18, 19 years and they start making money, then they, they get employed, they start making money. They don't have to depend on men who lie to them and they, you know, like uh, in the name of you know, giving them money, they make them pregnant and they leave them on, you know, on their own. So a lot of this is always misconceptions. You know, there are always things put out there to belittle us and make us think we can't do it but we can do it they can do it you know we could all and we could do it together and make and make these young ladies lives better vile vile wadau wa elimu katika sekta ya mafunzo ya kiufundi wakitaka wasichana pamoja na vijana kutoka pwani kujitokeza ili kujiajiri wenyewe serikali pia imetakiwa kupiga jeki sekta hii ili kuhakikisha kwamba wakija wengi hawaelekee ukaibuni kutafuta kazi. Yani kazi za mikono zinachokesha ama mtu hapa Kenya hezi fanya kazi mpaka ende kugaibuni like arabuni. Sekta ya kiufundi ina uwezo wa kuajiri mamilioni ya wa Kenya na sasa wengi wametakiwa kujiunga katika sekta hii. Francis Mtalaki, Ringa Citizen, Mombasa. Na baada ya taarifa yake Francis Mtalaki tunakwenda mapumzikoni kidogo tu lakini tuna